Hello, and we are set to call In this the main event. Time to present the tale of the tape for this championship fight. With a light heavyweight title at stake. Well, it didn't take long. Oh, we are very close to a new champion here. He is in trouble. This submission quit. You can get the submission. Go for it. This is quite the show. Each of these guys is determined to end this struggle. What a submission battle. Look at them back and forth, back and forth. How are they holding on? These two have been locked in an epic submission struggle, but it looks like he's about to escape. Man, after such an incredible battle, able to garner the submission. The question is now, how much energy did he expend in trying to submit his opponent? He's got him in the closed guard now and looking to minimize any damage. He's working from the closed guard. He's trying to neutralize his opponent. And really what he's trying to do here is control his posture. He moves him into the relative safety of his closed guard. Oh, a textbook sweep. Beautifully done. He's got the mount. This could be dangerous. Oh, he's in trouble here. He is in deep trouble. Yup, he's given up his back. This could be it. Great job in securing the back, and he is really in control now. Oh, you never want to see a guy do that, surrendering his back just like that. Over him. Lands a right punch. Uh-oh, he's given up his back. This is a dangerous move. Dangerous move indeed. He's got to get his legs inside. He's got to get that back control, and then he's in position to finish. That strike landed like a brick. That's it. Just like that. Whoa, this can't be good. He's just offered up his back on a silver platter. on the canvas with a double leg. He's working from the close guard, and Frank, he's stacking him up right now. Oh, he's stacking him up, and he's putting himself in the ultimate power position, being postured above your opponent and punching down. He has the overhook and the underhook, hence the name, the over-under. Here we see him stacked up in the guard now. Overing is now working from what is known as the over-under clinch. The wall slams him to the canvas. Take that for a takedown. Oh, this is a nice sprawl. Hips down, back straight. He's stopping that takedown. Oh, and he takes him right down. To oh, wow, he's going for the submission. Can he cinch it in? He looks like he might have it here. Oh, man, more. He might be winning the belt with this hole right here. Oh, man. I think he's going to be able to survive it. I can't believe I'm saying this. But he might actually get out of this one. Lawal manages to avoid the choke, and that just might put a little dent in his opponent's pride. Oh, he darts out of the way of that punch. Oh, he gets tagged with that hook. He gets the tie clinch, and this could very well be the beginning of the end. Overeem changes levels and gets the takedown. Beautifully done. 
Nice! He just caught the punch. Uh-oh, he's got wrist control. Gotta take advantage once you have wrist control. It's not like it's gonna last forever. He's got wrist control and his opponent is going to have a hard time defending here with one less limb to use. He's working from the close guard, and Frankie's stacking him up right now. Oh, he's stacking him up, and he's putting himself in the ultimate power position, being postured above your opponent and punching down. Lawal moves into close quarters now, looking to work the clinch. Lawal brings him back to earth via the slam. He passes the guard and moves into side control. Oh, what a reversal here as he now finds himself in top position. With so many takedowns in this fight, uh, what? Wow, what a shot by the champion. This is the champ got him. He got him. He has dropped him to the ground. There is a little in this fight, and neither fighter can figure it out. How do you stop the takedown? Yeah, he is still the king. He's won the fight. His ground and pound was too much for the challenger, and the ref had to stop the beating. The champion maintains his hold on the gold. <laughs>